These are the homework problems from section 2.3 on geometric and Poisson distribution. On problem number one, it says the salesman claims that 10% of the sales calls he makes result in a sale. What is the probability that his first sale will be on his, and part A says, first sales call? Okay, so he either makes a sale or he doesn't, which makes you think binomial. But on this one, we're not asking for the probability it's, it's, um, that he has two sales or three sales. We're asking when will the first sale occur, and that's a good indication that it's by no, uh, that it's um, uh, geometric, because um, we're looking for how many times uh, uh, what's the probability that the first sale will occur. Okay, so the probability the first sale will occur on the first sales call is 10 percent, because there's only a 10 percent chance that he makes a sale. So on this first sale call, there's a 10% chance. And you can do this on Excel on the binomial sheet uh, where it says geometric. Scroll to the right and put in the P of 0.1. And we're saying first sales call. The X and the Y are both 1. And the computer probability is 0.1. It also gives you the mean and variance and standard deviation too. Now the probability that he makes his first sale call on the second, that's only going to happen if he doesn't make a sales call on his first sale, which is a 90% chance that he doesn't make a f sales call on his first sale, uh, and then times the probability he makes the sale on the second, which is 10%. So in other words, we've got to take 90% of 10%, which is 0.9. And we can get that here just by saying it happens on the second sales call right here. And you get uh, 0.09, because that's uh, uh, 90 percent of 10 percent is 9 percent or 0.09. For it to happen on his third sales call, then what has to happen here is he has to not make a sales call, which is 90 percent chance, times not make a sales call again, 90 percent, times make a sales call on his third time, which is 0.1. See up here on this one, it was 0.9 times because he had to not make a sales call, which was a 90% chance of that, then make a sales call, 10%. On this one, it was just 0.1, that's it. This one, four sales call, well, it's going to be 0.9 times 0.9 three times. So it's going to be 0.9, you could say it's 0.9 raised to the uh, third power, and then the fourth sale call, he has to make the sale, 0.1. So anyway, on, um, on doing this, we can get the answers pretty quickly here. Here's two sales, second sales call. Third sales call, just make both of these three, and you get 0.081. On the fourth sales call, just make both of these four, and you get 0 0.0729. Now, first, the first sale is on his first through fourth sales call. So, first through fourth is 0.3439. And that's really from adding up these numbers that we had here. And you get the total right there. And then after his fourth sales call, well, the probability he makes his first sales call from his first to his fourth is 0.3439. Then after it would be 1 minus that, about 0.6561. But you can also get it by saying, well, after the, first, after the fourth sales call would be anywhere from his fifth up to as many uh, sales calls as he's going to make, which put in a big number here, let's say 100 or 1,000, and you get 0 0.6560. So, uh, so that would do it there. And the larger you go here, the more exact your answer is going to be. There's 0 0.6561, and that's what we thought it was going to be. On problem two, uh, let me scroll up here. On problem two, it says a striker for a soccer team makes one-fifth of his goal shots. What is the probability his first goal will be before his sixth shot? Well, again, first goal. Okay, so this is a good Im uh, indication that it, it, it's uh, geometric. And before his sixth shot, well, he makes a fifth of them. So he'd have to miss his first go go shot on goal, which would be four-fifths of a chance since making it is one-fifth. So it would be four-fifths raised to the, he has to miss five times. So that would be that number raised to the uh, fifth power, and then times the one-fifth, the probability that he actually makes it would be on the sixth. And we can get that answer right here, uh, saying the probability is one-fifth. And then we're saying before his sixth, which means from his first shot up to his fifth shot, right there. 
And uh, actually, before his sixth shot would mean that he has to make it on his fifth shot. So this would be to the fourth, actually, to tell you the truth. I'm working it out. Okay, so, yeah, well, actually, to do this, this would be exactly his sixth shot. So this would be very difficult to do without Excel because you'd have to do, work this one out, four-fifths to the fourth times one-fifth. Then you'd have to take four, add on four-fifths to the third times one-fifth and so on because this right here is exactly his sixth shot uh, or his exactly his fifth shot. So uh, let's go down to this one. The sixth shot, just make both of these sixes and you get 0 0.065536. So to get that one down here, you'd have to take 4 fifths to the fifth and so on. And up here, see, you'd have to take this. This is for the fifth shot. And you'd have to uh, add on for the fourth shot and then add on for the um, third shot and add on the probability that he makes it on his second shot and add on the probability that he makes it on his first shot. But instead of doing all this, you can just use the Excel sheet and for that particular problem again, before six, it would be one to five. And on the sixth shot, it'd be exactly six. And then after his third shot, it would be fourth, see it says after third, fourth up to, let's say, uh, his thousandth shot. And you get that answer right there. Okay, on problem three it says a particularly bad section road averages three accidents per year. What is the probability that there are three accidents per year? Okay, it's giving you an average, um, and that's what the Poisson distribution gives you here, an expected value, an average. Also, the fact that it's over a time period and there would be many, many cars going past this area. Uh, the large number is a good indication that it's also a Poisson distribution. So on this one, it tells you that the average number of accidents was three. So put that right here where it's the Poisson distribution. And then uh, now part A says three accidents th this year on that section road. So the lower and the upper value are both three, and you get 0.22404. At least three accidents means three accidents or more. So put in a large number here, and you get 0.57681. More than three accidents, um, well, more than three accidents means four or more. Okay, so that'd be 0.35277. At most three, well, at most three means three or less. Could be clear down to none, and it could be clear up to three, and you get 0.64723. Um, then we have fewer than three. Well, fewer than three means zero, one, or two, and you get 0 0.42. Okay. Problem four says a mail order company receives an average of five orders per one, 500 solicitations. If it sends out 100 advertisements, find the probability of receiving at least two. This is a very tricky problem. There's 500 solicitations. Okay but it only sends out 100. So you have to get this in terms of 100. Well, five orders out of 500 is the same as one order out of 100. So the average number of sales for uh, 100 uh, solicitations is one. So the average is one, and we're looking for uh, at least two on 100 being sent out. So at least two means two or more. So let's go clear up to all 100 and you get 0.26424. Again, see, these were different numbers, so we can't say the average was 5 when we're only going to talk about 100. So um, we have to make this the equal number. So 5 out of one, 500 is the same as 1 out of 100. So that's why that's a 1. And then uh, receiving at least 2, well, 2 or more, and it sends out 100, so we can't go any higher than 100. So that would be the answer to that problem right there. Again, I knew it was... Uh, um, 
binomial because it was a large number of things sent out. It actually gave me an average when you think about a five out of five hundred. Um, it's a, it's the average amount that they they receive orders for. And then finally, this one it says a book contains five hundred pages. There are two hundred typing errors randomly distributed throughout the book. Determine the probability that a page contains exactly three errors. Well, if there's 200 errors out of 500 page, the average number of errors per page is 200 five hundredths. And 200 five hundredths is the same as 2 fifths, which is 0.4. And then it says exactly three errors, so that the x and the y are both three, and you get 0.00715. And that's all those problems.